So the thing about the moors is obviously the peat, and you know that makes up moorland. The only reason moorland is there is because of the peat. And I suppose the issue with the peat is that it is technically a fossil fuel because it's decomposing stuff that makes it so nutrient nutrient rich. And obviously the decomposition of that creates methane, which is why it's so flammable. But also it's all, all, often used in pom compost. It's often used in compost because it's got a lot of nutrients in it. And the issue with that is, is you're breaking away the peat, you're literally destroying the habitat. It's not like a, a sort of domino effect of you do this, it'll impact this. You are literally breaking away the moorland to take the peat away. So by using peat-free compost, it, it, it does help. Because it, it just reduces the demand, which will reduce the impact. And, um, you know, it is a shame because you are breaking away the habitat and peat is so important because it's fundamental to everything that survives on moorland. And there's lots of plants that are up there that you don't really find anywhere else, like sundews. They're, you know, a little tiny carnivorous plant, but you don't really get it anywhere else up than either than up on moorland. And heather, it's a, quite a rare species nowadays. Cotton grass, it, you know, it's another moorland specialist, but also sphagnum moss, which is really, really important as regards to flooding and water management because it soaks up that water then releases it slowly so it, i think it's something called um uh lag time and so um yeah lag time you know the time it takes for the water to get into rivers but if that sphagnum moss soaks it up it won't immediately go into rivers which will increase the you know the amount of water in the river which will cause flooding and it also erodes the peat when you get too much rain the sphagnum moss it soaks it up so there isn't as much water running over the peat to wash it away. But also when you have drought, it releases it slowly, so it keeps the moorland moist. So if you do have a fire, it won't spread as quickly because the moorland is already damp because the sphagnum moss is soaking it up. And then, the, you know, so if you are breaking away the peat, the sphagnum moss can't survive. So the moors are drier, and then when it does rain, it washes away and erodes the peat, which means you're losing the habitat.